Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Scribblenauts Unlimited. We have a couple areas left here in the second last area we have unlocked so far. We have a couple underwater areas, an island, and a fairy tale kingdom. I want to leave these two for last though, because they sound fairly interesting, so we'll do our underwater areas today, hopefully. Let's take check out the Tilda Reef. Actually, it's really small, so there might not actually be a whole lot for us to do here, but let's go check it out anyway, because you never know until you try. Got some octopi here and some pearls of some sort. You've crashed a car into the reef. There's a whale that's been caught. Some fish. Cornet fish. Can I play you? You look like an instrument. Alright. What do we got going on here? Whale, you got stuck in an anchor. I'm trapped. Help me get out of this abandoned net. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll see what I can do. I'll give you a... How about I can give you a razor? There you go. Take that. Free yourself. Free yourself, whale. No. All right, the razor isn't good enough for it. I'm going to instead give it a... Hmm. What else can we give him that'll help him get out of there? We can give him a saw blade. There you go. Pick one of those instead. You can't. still can't get out of there? Okay, if I pick up the razor, can I attack the rope with the razor? Yes, it's not the fastest thing, but it will work eventually. We'll slice it with our razor. Done. He, he's got a Maxwell head. What? <laughs> Why does he have a Maxwell hat? I don't know. Oh, he's following me around. That's cute. A rainbow fish down there? A rainbow unicorn fish. Awesome. You know what? Just because of that, we're going to make ourselves a rainbow unicorn as well. Perfect. Rainbow unicorn for the rainbow unicorn fish. Hey there, lantern fish. He says, the light is too dim to attract prey. He wants an adjective to make himself brighter. All right, I'm going to make yourself neon. Boop. How about that? Is that good enough for you? Apparently not. Alright then, how about we'll make you a blinding? No, I cannot make you blinding. Alright. How about... Oh, what's a good adjective that means bright, that isn't just bright? I could just make him bright, but I think I'll give him... Hmm, shiny instead. There you go! Now he's shiny. Is he gonna eat that fish? No fish, no! I led you to your doom! All right, what do we got going on here? What are you done? Dale is running out of <laughs> you're running out of air. You're a, you're a rally car driver, okay? You're running out of air, okay? I'll give you a snorkel. It'll be absolutely useless down here. I spelled it wrong. There you go. Absolutely useless down here because it doesn't provide oxygen. But I wonder what would happen there. No, apparently it didn't actually solve it. I'm surprised. I thought that would give us a solution, despite not actually being a valid solution. I'll give you a oh I don't know an oxygen tank. Pretty straightforward, but sometimes you need something that's a little bit more straightforward. There you go, your iron lung. Other people are getting eaten over there. Look at that fish is being. You. Uh huh. Yep, a waterproof car. Okay, I'm not gonna question it. Let's check out what the octopus wants. That clam has the perfect pearl for my collection. Does it? What is this? An angel fish? Cool. We've got a jellyfish over here. That's cool too. Pink jellyfish. Some clownfish there. Some sea anemones. A sea urchin. Some of our home has been destroyed. Create something to help the reef regrow. Well, I'll see what I can do. Something to help the reef regrow, really. Hmm. Why don't I just put down some more... I'll put it on a sea cucumber. Sea cucumber! <laughs> Done. There's already one right there. Oops. Alright, apparently sea cucumber is... <laughs> whoops. Apparently a sea cucumber is not sufficient. Let's put down just a whole reef. That should solve the problem. Bam! It's reef. Done. Reef restored. I don't really think that counts, but they seem to think it does. So, good enough. Good enough. Well, oh, there's our saw blade. Oops, let's put that away before someone gets accidentally injured. The giant clam. Is that really all I had to do? Oh, the jellyfish stole it now. You stinker. You're a pink suspect jellyfish. All right. Can I change an adjective on him to make him altruistic? There you go. Now he's coming back to try and do good in the world. Or, I don't know where he's going. My rainbow unicorn and I don't have business out over here. Are you, are you giving the octopus the, the pearl? No? Alright, I got your pearl. Here you go. There you go. You happy little octopus? You got yourself a pearl now. Boom! Level complete. That was actually really easy. Alright. Very small area. I like our... our uh, 
Our porpoise friend, though, that's pretty cute. Let's hop over here to this reef and see if there's anything better there. Ah, yes, the Alliteration Abyss has much more in it. It also sounds much deeper. Let's take our Rainbow Unicorn with us and go elsewhere. Welcome to the Alliteration Abyss. Uh, sand Dollar, Ghost Ship, a Submarine of some kind. Some, oh, Great White Shark, hello. White Great Great White Shark. <laughs> right. I have a toothache. Give me something to help me take care of my teeth. How about I just give you a dentist? You can eat him. Help your teeth, I'm sure. There you go. I'm sure that'll help. Absolutely not at all. Nope, oh, there goes his teeth. A whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. And now he's going to get eaten. Well, that kind of helps. Congratulations there, dude. A great white, great conscious, great white shark. Awesome. All right, you know what? We need to move quicker. So I'm going to make my animal be a little bit more powerful. I'm going to make him speedy. It's a rainbow speedy unicorn. Aha! Da -da 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 -da. We got a swordfish, a sailfish rather. A dolphin family. You've got a dolphin with a top hat, a dolphin with a kid's hat. All right, can I make a dolphin and then put a dress on it? Or tiara? Tiara would be a good idea, I think. Dolphin, tiara, done. Is that good enough for you? No. All right, then. Can I give you a dress instead? I have a feeling that's not going to work because it's a dolphin. But we can try. No, it didn't work. Can I give her a... We need to make a dolphin lady. How do you make a dolphin lady? I give her pigtails. <laughs> pigtails. There you go. That apparently also didn't work. Hmm. Strange. I'm not sure what they're expecting us to do here, then. Let's remove the pigtails. Send them back up to the top. These are dolphins, right? Yeah, dolphin. Their dolphin family is missing someone. Can I just make a baby dolphin, then, instead? Let's try that. Add adjective. Infant. No, no. Can't do that one. Okay. Baby. Is that what you wanted? No. Okay, then. Female dolphin. Is that good enough? There you go. You just have to make it actively be female. Well, I, that's a little bit more awkward than I would have guessed, but whatever. It worked. So we're all done. What do we got going on over here? We got a bleeding chest. What is that thing? The oil is leaking. It's an oil pipe. Oh no! We had something to plug up the vent. We got oily bubbles coming out. That's terrible. We have to solve that problem pronto. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a large, hmm, large piece of sealing wax. No, apparently that doesn't work. All right, large wax. Stick that in there. Nope. Empty. Whoa, come back. Oh, that's gone. All right, instead, we're going to try something else. We're going to try and put down some plastic wrap. There you go. Take that. Use that on there. Plug it. I don't just want to plug in it. I can put a stopper, maybe? It's kind of like a plug. There we go. What is that thing? It's a manhole cover. Awesome. The plug sitting on top. Well, good enough. We've solved the problem there. You've got some plastic out of it, too. Oh, bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. What's this? A large jewelry box? What's inside? Some gems and whatnot. Interesting. What do we have down here? A pet carrier? What's in that? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? A catfish. Ugh. It's a cat carrier. Fantastic. Okay, what's in this box? Empty. Bam, what is this? Snorkeling fins. It's kind of interesting. What else is on the bottom here? Why is there an oboe at the bottom? Oh, it's the SpongeBob SquarePants reference, isn't it? An oboe at the bottom of the sea. All right, what does this guy want here? He says he keeps losing his gold coins and wants to find his haunted doubloon. Well, I'm sure we'll have to look for that somewhere. Got an octopus over here. This is a huge area. He says he's not quite intelligent enough to get the sardine tin open and wants to be smarter. All right, well, let's use the notepad to make him a graduate. Graduated. There you go. Congratulations, you're now a doctorate. Dr. Octopus. That's what this is a reference to, isn't it? All right, let's make that. He's going to be Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. Apparently not, it didn't work either. All right, I'm just going to make him, in, like, smart. But I bet you this is a... Do smart? <laughs> smart? Really, Vanguard? Dr. Octopus? Mental mollusk. Yeah, okay. Dr. Octopus is much better, in my opinion. He just built himself a university. A sand palace. Okay. Good. 
deep sea buddies. What was that for? I'm not actually sure what that was for. This is Glum. Apparently we solved something for him without knowing it. Well, okay. Got a hippo chill note over here. He says he hasn't evolved to live in the ocean and wants to be more like a whale. Alright, let's make you have... Let's give him some fins. That might work. Fin. Organic fin. There you go. Oh, God. Maxwell selection. Yeah, natural selection, except that's horrifying. That's actually really horrifying. And there's a whale orca here. Want something to bring law and order to the ocean. Well, I give Poseidon a minigun when he wanted law and order in the ocean. I'll give you a gavel, though. Something a little bit less crazy. There you go. Order! Order! Is that going to work for you? Apparently not. He's thinking about it. Maybe he's going to use it. No, he's not going to use it. All right, got to give him something better. We're going to give him something to bring law and order to there. We'll give him a courthouse. How about that? Courthouse. How's that not good enough for you? What do you want? What do you want from me? Sheriff badge? Give you a sheriff badge. No. Uh, police badge, perhaps. Might work a little bit better. Police badge. Really? Uh, I hate when this game gets a bit confused or won't let me know what I'm doing wrong. No, I don't want to open the object, e object editor right now. Why don't we create ourselves something else different? <coughs> Excuse me. Some, uh, a judge wig. Heart really? A powdered wig. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Powdered wig. That's the kind of wigs judge uses. Yes, good. Although now I can't get to the orca. Get this wig on you. Nope, can't stick to wig. Wig. You're a judge now. You have a gavel and a powdered wig. What more could you want? All right, you know what? I'm going to make you have an adjective on you. Add an adjective that makes you a lawful. Oh, apparently that worked. A police hat was what he wanted. Real. Oh, goodness. Hello. You're huge. You are actually ginormous. Oh, I bet you the island level's on the back of a giant turtle. That's cool. That's actually humongous, though. We got otter over here. Wow, what an enormous turtle. All right, what's this guy doing? Oh, that's the dentist. He's just chilling out now. The Kraken over here wants to be released, I'm sure. He's friendly, though, so that's good. We could ride the Kraken, but then I'd have to get off my rainbow unicorn. That doesn't sound quite as much fun. We have our submarine chilling out over there. Our biosphere over there. Is this the haunted doubloon? No, it's just a coin. Is this the haunted doubloon? No, it's just a coin, too. Hmm. Interesting. Do these turtles want anything? Doesn't look like it. I should just use my star aid vision, but I like clicking on things. Do 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 derp 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 derp. All right, gotta help him find this haunted doubloon. Is there anything else we have to help out here? I'm sure there is. There's three more star eight fragments left. What's left to find? The turtle is apparently in the background, which is interesting. I'm not seeing much else here that we have to do though, apart from the big events. Maybe I did something wrong, perhaps? I don't think I did though. Ah, there's someone. Hello there, friend. What do you want? He says he would swear this is one big aquarium. Create something you would find in an aquarium and I'll show you. Something you'd find in an aquarium? Like an octopus? There's already an octopus in here. Why don't I give you a... Hmm, something you'd get in an aquarium. What are classic aquarium things? Uh, whales. Dolphins. They're already in the water, though. Octopus is already in the water. Fish are already in the water. Jellyfish. I'll give you a jellyfish. I have a feeling that's not what he's looking for, but we'll give him one anyway. No, nope, that's not good enough for him. All right then, why don't we give him a tank? <laughs> that's not exactly what I meant. All right, get off that thing. Get that out of here. I meant a walk, like an aquarium. But I just put an aquarium in here. There you go. Building done. It's an aquarium now. <laughs> no, not good enough for him. All right, he wants something more like an aquarium. Why don't I give him a fish? A fish tank? There you go. Turn one of those on. No, the dolphins like playing with it, but he doesn't like it. I'm not sure what you're looking for, dude. You want something to find in an aquarium. Oh, a beluga. I have a beluga. There you go. You find belugas in aquariums, mostly. That's pretty much the only place you find them. No, this is not working out for us very well here. Are we still holding our razor? I don't think so. We need to get our rainbow unicorn to attack if we want. But that's not really what we're looking for here. Why do you want me to get you? Something you would find in an aquarium. Can I make a fake plant? Is that going to work? 
You find fake plants in aquariums? Yes. Apparently that was good enough for him. That was all he wanted. Fake plants. And apparently that put food in the water. Fish food. Huh. Well, that was not what, was I, not what I was expecting at all, really. There's apparently two more star eight shards left to find, though, and I'm just not seeing them in here. Oh, there's fish food everywhere now. <laughs> okay, maybe this is a giant aquarium of some sort. A really, really humongous one. Well, I, I don't see the other ones, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and do the challenges here, and then maybe we'll see if we can find them after that. So, the Undersea Tour. Create exciting scenes for the Undersea Tourists. Let's do it. Hopefully we find something good. Doo -doo -ding. What do we find? That's a bomb. No, it isn't. Okay. We're on a submarine tour. The first shop is a first shop. Yes, the first stop is a shipwreck. Create three th three objects you would find in the shipwreck. What is this thing? A diver propulsion vehicle. Huh. I wouldn't have guessed that would be a thing. Oh, it's fast too. That's cool. Three things you would find in a shipwreck. Well, you'd find an octopus on a shipwreck. They love those things. Apparently, no octopus didn't count. In that case, we're gonna put a treasure chest. Treasure chest. There you go, that'll do. What about some skeleton? Good. And the Titanic. Ah, uh, I can't put the Titanic down there. Can I put down some gems? A gem, fine, one gem. That's two gems. Whatever. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons and treasure chests all of a sudden. Apparently that's good enough though. Alright. Where are you even going? What what's this? Now the tourists want to see some dangerous wildlife. Create two dangerous sea creatures. Do you want dangerous ones? Okay. We'll go straight for Leviathan then. I like Leviathan. What are you expecting, you moron? You asked me for dangerous sea creatures and you immediately hit me with a torpedo. Oi, 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 oi. Alright, I'll be right back when we're back where we were. Alright, so we're back here again. Let's see if we can try this again. He wants dangerous sea creatures that are not dangerous. Let's try a tame leviathan. He's still nuking me! What's wrong with you? You're a jerk. You're a jerk indeed. Alright, let's try this again. I'll be back when we're back here again. See if we can get something he won't immediately nuke me over. Alright, so let's see if we can help this guy without him immediately murdering us. So he wants dangerous sea creatures that are only a little bit dangerous. So let's try putting a kraken in there. A friendly kraken. See if he'll nuke that and not me. Friendly kraken. What good is finding these creatures if you immediately murder them? Yeah, hey, hey, that friendly apparently means terrified Kraken. But he doesn't seem to want to shoot the Kraken. Why does he want to shoot the Leviathan so badly? Can I give him a... Hmm, what's another good undersea creature that's always horrifying? Can I give him an... A friendly sea serpent? Should be the same model as Leviathan, I think. But he might not immediately nuke me over it. Yes. Uh, no, he immediately nuked it. Why do you hate those animals? I just don't understand! Ugh, whatever. He really wants to kill my sea serpents and leviathans and stuff. Now create two objects for an underwater battle scene that will astound the tourists. Alright, whatever. They're nuking themselves. Red versus blue again. Okay. I will give you... How about some torpedoes? I have a torpedo. This is going to kill someone that lands. Alright, torpedo, and we'll also create a sea mine. There you go. That's going to kill someone in a second, though. Probably me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, goodness. Death charges, sea mines, all kinds of cool stuff. Excellent. Alright, well, that seems to be that. We have one more step here, I think. Final stop? Yes. We've arrived at the ruins of an ancient lost city, although it looks a little plain. Create three ancient objects to impress the tourists. It's a crawl space, really? Alright, well, let's put an, a statue. That'll work. That's a, not exactly the cool kind of statue I was looking for, but that'll work. A statue. We'll put a plinth. Apparently, that's not cool enough. Alright, in that case, we'll put a column. That should work. Really? No? A Roman column? Roman column. Nope, apparently that's not a word either. Alright, apparently ancient columns aren't fancy enough. We put an urn down there. They don't like the urn either. Okay, we put a gold. A gold temple. There you go, I'm sure that'll make them happy. There you go. Very, uh, 
A very lost city of gold kind of thing. El Dorado. And why don't we give them a... Hmm, an idol. That should do it. That's also a statue. But apparently it's good enough for them. Whatever. There's more temples. And I don't know what that is. It's a roof of some sort. That's a ruin? Yeah, that worked. I wouldn't necessarily say that was what I was planning on doing, but it worked out in the long run, so let's just get out of my way, you stinker. I want... Oh, come on. Give me the... Get, get. Okay, get off this. Remove. No, no, no. Remove. Get off. Oh, dismount is the word I'm looking for. There we go. Can I... Why can't I pick this up? Okay. No, that's not cool. We're going to get rid of that. Now grab it. Jeez. Undersea tour completed. Oh, yeah. 73 total star rights. Looking pretty good. What are we going to do next? Well, we should check out this area down here, and I'll probably end this episode there for now. Help the scientists by creating a food chain for them to study. Okay, some, some kind of plankton, fish, shark kind of deal. We'll see how many steps we have to put in, though. Whew, excuse me. What do we got going on here? Scientist, help the scientists create a food chain. First, create an energy source for life. All right, let's put the sun underwater. An underwater... Um, yeah, the sun sounds like a good one. Bam! Underwater sun. That's probably not good for anyone, but it's here. We got volcano. Ah, oh, undersea vents would have been a good one. That would have been a very good one. It's a dead whale. That's that's a dead whale. It's dead. Next, create a life form at the bottom of that food chain. I can use that energy. I do like these though. The lava spouts are a good idea. Undersea vents are definitely excellent. Let's get rid of that. All right, we can create a phytoplankton. Phytoplankton. Nope, just plankton then. There you go, planktons. You love living under terrible water conditions. Lots of bacteria as well, dissolving that whale. My plankton had nothing to do with that, but that's fine. They've also blocked up the jets, which is interesting. Now create a vegetarian animal, animal in the food chain to feed on the aquatic plants. What is these, anyway? Bacteria. They are bacteria. Okay, I will create for you a clownfish. I found Nemo. Excellent there, clownfish. Now what's going to happen? All manner of sea life is appearing. Lovely. And they're gonna come eat these creatures. Sea slug. Finally, create a predator at the top of the food chain that can eat anything. Anything you say? Release the Kraken again! Kraken! Problem solved. <laughs> Good. Excellent. We've released the Kraken and we've achieved a star right for our troubles. Fantastic. I could have created many other things there, I'm sure, but I really wanted to release a Kraken in a situation that would actually help us. Alright, 74 total star rights, fantastic. Whew, well, there's probably more, way more things to find in here, but I'm having a hard time seeing them. Like, even if it's just more people we have to help more, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. Because everything I see here so far is grayed out, which means we can't help them any further. Even with star right vision on, which I don't often use, I'm just not seeing the opportunities I need to actually accomplish anything else. Hmm. There's the pirate, but I'll I bet you when we find the pirate's thing, he'll have another quest for us. So let's do that. We'll help the pirate over here. We'll give him a ghost doubloon. Du oh, I spelled that wrong. Here you go, ghost doubloon. Is that good enough for you? No? He wants a haunted doubloon. All right, let's try again with a haunted doubloon. Haunted doubloon. Is that all you need, really? Either that, or we're just gonna use something to help find it with. I'm gonna give you a metal detector. Metal detector. I'm sure that'll help you. There you go. You find it yet? You find it? Uh, eh, no. Okay. Get rid of these fake ones. Get rid of these fake ones. I'll give you something more different. I'll give you a magnifying glass. Is that gonna work for you? I have no idea what you want there, pirate dude. Um, can I give you a... I don't know. You want to find a haunted doubloon? Can I give you a... A ghost detector of some kind? A ghost detector? No, I'll give you a detective. That might help. A detective. Detective! Here you go, maybe he can help you. Nope. He's just afraid of the ghost. How do I help you, dude? You want... You keep losing your gold coins. Help you find your haunted balloon. Can I give you a magnet? I don't think gold is magnetic, though. That's not gonna work. That's probably why the metal detector doesn't work. Because they don't have any kind of that magnetic reaction. Alright, well, let's remove this. Something that can help him find gold. 
Hmm. Can I give you a? What is the things that the gold uh, gold prospectors used? Prospector. He should know how to find it. You can talk to him. He can help you find your gold. Nope. Okay. Okay. That's not working either. We have to find some way to help this guy. Something that we can give him that will help him find his ghost gold. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Something that help us find ghosts might work, but something that will help us find... I don't know. We, can I make a Ouija board? I don't know how to spell that. Apparently that's not how you spell it. Or if it is, that's not actually a thing on the board. Can I make a... Hmm. A mystic? Maybe... No, apparently you can't make a mystic. Can I make a... Fortune teller? They might be able to tell them where his gold is. No, they're also just afraid of the ghost. Okay, can I make a ghost metal detector? That might work. Here, take that. I don't know what you're looking for, dude. I don't know how to help you any more than this. How do I help you find your haunted balloon? If you won't do anything, they'll help me find it. Uh, can I give you a treasure map? I've tried this before, I believe. No, okay, I can't do it like that. I will give you a map then and see if that'll help you. Here, take that. X marks the spot, dude. Giant X. <laughs> X marks the spot. Go right there. It's right here. It's right there. <laughs> Man, he's giving us a hard time. Okay, 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 okay. Remove that. Get rid of the map. I'm taking over your boat. No! No, unicorn, come back! Come back! You're not supposed to eat fish food? How do I help you find this thing? I'm a little bit baffled by this. Why won't you cooperate with me here? I'll give you a shovel, maybe. A spade. There you go. Take a spade. Can you dig it up? I have no idea what you want me to do for you, dude. Not a clue. Oh, there's a bubble fort at the bottom. That's funny. Part of the aquarium thing. I really don't know what he wants. Let's just give him a coin and see if that'll do it. Here. We'll pick this up. And we'll bring it over to him and see if that's good enough. Yeah, I'm assuming it's not, because it's not a haunted coin. But I'm running out of ideas here. Oh. What the heck was that? Oh. Okay, that was actually the solution. Well, I feel silly. We help this guy now. Pirate ghost. No, we help him again. My ghost ship sank. Help me raise it to the surface. Okay. What we will do then is we will tie it to a boy. Can I attach that in some way? Whoop, no, no, come back. Oh. <laughs> boy. Can I give it to you or attach it to you in some way? I'll make a rope and attach it that way. That should work. I'll make a rope. We'll attach one end to there. And we'll attach the other end to... Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. Oh, that worked. <laughs> there you go. Home free! Is that actually going to work or not? No. Okay, what we're going to do instead here is we're going to make this add adjective. You can now have a waterproof boat. And another adjective will make it floating. Come on, get out of here. There you go. We raised the ghost ship. That took a lot longer than I expected. Whew, level completed. Well, I think we're going to have to end this episode here for now. We're still riding our rainbow unicorn to victory. If you've enjoyed the episode, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on the episode, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.